Jessica Lozell from Stanford University, and I'm teaching my class on advances in contemporary modern social media movements of the 21st century. So my students told me about your YouTube inquiries, and I'm excited to help you out a little bit. So I'm filming and uploading this video uh, with the hopes of enlightening on a subject that's really near and dear to my heart. All right, so let's begin with the basics. So YouTube was created by Steve Chen, Chad Hurley, and Joanne Kareem, um, who were all employees at PayPal, and decided to take the plunge to start their own website. So that's the uh, who section of the last time. It was actually on February 14, 2005, that they founded the site and ultimately began one of the most interactive social networking sites of all times. So let's move on to the how aspect of this discussion. I'd like some of my uh, students out there to feel these questions, since the topic was actually included in the reading from last night. So let's see who's been doing the readings here. Uh, does anyone know the source of inspiration behind uh, Chen, Hurley, and Kareem's founding of YouTube? Uh, yeah, Jeremy. Uh, well, aren't there like uh, a number of stories floating around about that? Like, I think I remember one of them was that Hurley and Chen had issues sharing some videos they shot at a dinner party at Chen's house, right? So they like, you know, they just casually decided to make their own video sharing site. Yeah, exactly. Nicely done. So, does anyone remember another story from last night's reading? Possibly like a little more risque? Yeah, Alex? Uh, so, didn't the story have to do with like Kareem? I think he was searching for that fashion faux pas clip back in 2004. Um, you know, that halftime Super Bowl performance with Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson? He couldn't find the video anywhere, so that's where the idea of video sharing came from. Alright, good job, class. I can really tell you guys have been doing your readings here. So, now that we've got those stories out of the way, check that one off. Uh, let's move on to where YouTube is now compared to where it was back when it was founded. So, during the summer of 2006, YouTube became one of the fastest growing sites on the internet. So in July, people were uploading more than 65,000 new videos a day, 65,000 new videos a day, uh, which were delivering about 100 million video views each. So think about that, 100 million video views in total. So you know that might actually not seem like much today, especially if you look at the statistics from modern times. So now, in 2012, um, over 800 million unique users visit YouTube each month. That's 800 million each month. 4 billion hours of video are watched each month. 4 billion. And 72 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. So, what is that? 72 hours every minute. So, in comparison, YouTube might not seem like it was such a big deal at the time, but it certainly was. So, does anyone know why? Go ahead, Matt. Okay, well back on, I think, it's like October, October 9, 2006, I think, um, Google bought YouTube for, was it like 1.65 billion in stock or something, um, which was like pretty major, because at the time, it was this most expensive uh, purchase made by Google um, in its like eight-year history or something, right? Very good. Thanks, Matt. Anyone else care to contribute to the discussion? So then Time Magazine featured you on the cover of the 2006 Person of the Year issue? Yep, you're exactly right. So Time Magazine singled out the user-created media as a major influence in society which definitely shows that YouTube was pretty important at the time of its founding. But obviously, the success didn't stop there. So let's move on to why it's important now. Starting in 2010 and continuing to the present day, YouTube has remained the third most visited site on the internet after, you know, Google and Facebook, which we actually discussed a couple weeks ago, so I hope you didn't forget those. All right, so I tried to keep it brief um, as we covered our main ideas here. So YouTube's had quite a successful career so far, and it's probably due to its focus on the everyday average individual. Um, without one for her, YouTube certainly wouldn't be where it is today. Alright, well I hope you helped Simon. Uh, best of luck on your YouTube adventures. Alright, now class, let's continue talking about Twitter here.